Hey everybody, Dom here. Today, I'm going to review all the weapons in Team Forge 2, but with a twist. The twist is, each weapon review will only be 10 words or fewer. This harsh constraint will keep the reviews fast and concise. Plus, it's more fun. Quick note before starting, these aren't all the weapons in the game. Versions of weapons that are simply aesthetically different, like the decorated, Australium, festive, and festivized versions of weapons aren't included. Let's begin. Old Reliable. It's as well-rounded as a circle. Good at annoying enemies, can two-shot up close. Long Range Scout isn't a thing, situational and bad. Maybe the repeating air jumps are useful on some maps. Used to make you Sonic. Babies complaining got this nerfed. Looks phallic, is occasionally fun. Promotes unreliable playstyle. Very solid, usable in a lot of medium range situations. The top part should move when firing, like real Lugers. Look at me, I'm fancy with my alien gun. Turns out being slightly higher makes you hard to hit. Can save your life. Downsides don't matter. Used to be very satisfying to use. Nerfs got him. Crits are bull. Save yourself and run past spam. Supposedly really good, but no one uses it. Powerful with teamwork. Associated with crude humor. Maybe not milk. Ew. Actually, dipping bread in milk isn't half bad. Overshadowed by melee choices with utility. Decorated versions of this make no sense. Plaid fish skin? Give me a hand. Many arm puns can be made. Very expensive. Good for sci-fi themed cosmetic loadouts. Used to be the best. Like no one ever was. Da -na -na -na. Good for when you really hate pyros. Burning. Hatred extinguishes. Good for when you really hate yourself. Or enjoy sadism. The Boston Basher, but cooler looking. For medieval themed loadouts. Really weak, even in the most ideal circumstances. Man vs. Machine Robots hate him! Learn the truth now. Useful for the clever to reach high ledges. Ultimately mediocre. Rarely use melee on Scout? Why not use this periodically? Rocket Launcher. It just works. Kinda of phallic if you think about it too much. Now this kills sentries, not the Cow Mangler. The only rocket launcher that can say the n-word. Powerful in the right hands. Always worse than conventional tactics. Get it? It has a crack like the Liberty Bell. Charged shot is weak sauce. Unlimited ammo is situationally useful. Shooting single shots outputs more damage per second. Gimmicky, but rewarding once it accumulates kills. Effectiveness depends on the class using it. A solid choice. Gone are the glory days of this once oppressive weapon. Almost mandatory versus robots. Medics improve the banner execution likelihood. The added mobility is worth the loss of a secondary. Crits are stupid, so this is always a justifiable choice. Deceptively good. Regeneration provides longevity. Banner effect is weak though. Stronger as an anti-sentry tool than a weapon. Excels in long, tight hallways. A meme weapon. Weak, but can be fun. Strangely become difficult to hit. Receive confused looks. Usable as a quick single target finisher. Why do you have this equipped? Become nostalgic of the glory days of the Great Equalizer. Really easy to forget to unequip this when switching modes. Medium risk, medium reward healing. Decent as a Demo Knight's weapon. Superb weapon. Please come close when you hear it swing. Beloved by many. Promotes generally less effective play. Very useful. The most common item for this item slot. Throws flames in front of you decently. Very thematic. Fitting given the Pyros meet the team short. A great reskin. Comes from the beloved Alien franchise. I swear, Pyros have the ability to teleport behind lines. For when you're feeling greasy. A skillful weapon. Air Blast. I never do that anyways. The newbie's motto. Generally underwhelming. A less convenient way to do average damage. Devastating to everything. Excluding Pyros. A weaker flare gun, but with added utility and timing. Covers the Phlogisonator's downside by design. Outshined by other secondaries. Great versus groups of enemies is very forgiving to use. Sacrificing medium range damage for utility is a tough choice. Pretty worthless area denial. Can somehow extinguish burning teammates. Has no utility. The vanilla melee is worthless for Pyro. The forbidden snack. Got nerfed into the ground, but is at least interesting. You've got mail. Solid utility weapon. Enjoyment stems from the pleasure of helping engineers. A very cool looking reskin. Literally Jack's power in the form of health. Best melee. Made for medieval. 
Please don't use around medics. Flamethrowers are always better. Originally had unlimited duration afterburn. Extremely fun when successfully hitting a medic or patient. Usefulness heavily depends on the map. Utility helps engineers. Become sassy AF. Item description is apt. You call it spam, I call it suppression fire. Less reliable than stock, but still viable. Outside of medieval mode, never go full demo knight. Pirate flavor, arr. A bit more work required, but it pays off. A preference choice. Trading reliability for reliability under different circumstances. The reason to play demo man. Powerful but rarely used due to being cumbersome. The original and most defensive shield. Usable but not ideal. Entertaining to use. Excels at engaging and escaping. Questionable viability. Impact damage better ensures a kill. A splendid side grade. Charge control is powerful. Taking damage while charging feels disheartening. A loss of flexibility and ease of use. Somewhat justifiable. Hey, me bottle of scrumpy. Vanilla Demo Man melee weapons have no downsides. Remember that. Very fun when heads accumulate. Weak against even incompetent teams. Such a happy axe. It looks and sounds imposing. From ancient spirits and weapons. Two golf clubs. Combos well with explosive jumping. Good in medieval mode. If you're going to die, take someone with you. Travel far, but take extra damage. Not worth it. For a charge-centric Demo Knight build. To each his own. Shh. Sasha is asleep. Just as well-rounded as stock, but more angular. Good versus scouts and in niche circumstances. Generally underpowered. Horrible downside can be countered by riding the payload cart. I've never once seen this used for stealth kills. Good with friendly dispensers. Doesn't discourage spies much. Rare to see used. Lunchbox items are overpowered. An indispensable tool. It grants the heavy a second wind. A pretty unappetizing reskin. Large time investment for little gain. Normally not worth using. Does it taste more like fish? Or cake? Double-edged sword in normal gameplay. Supports fun, non-optimal play. Rivaling and surpassing the sandwich in power. Outmatched by alternatives. Using name as verb creates lewd humor. Looks unsightly. Combos poorly with most cosmetics. Unbelievably strong in medieval mode. Feels good when it works. Downsides promote skillful play. Increased movement speed is extremely beneficial. Bread themed items are dumb. Viable in medieval mode. Not so good in normal play. Good if retreating or running between cover is common. Very entertaining to use. You can rage out on someone. Stun Zubers. Taunt killing a stunned enemy is extremely fun. Less reliable than stock, but powerful with only minuscule investment. Battle Engineer's main tool. Can be absurdly devastating sometimes. When you wish to infuriate certain classes, here you go. Losing some damage and reliability for utility. A positive trade. Sacrifice your firepower to empower your sentry. Oppressively good sometimes. An appealing reskin. Effectively a weak short-ranged pistol with added utility. As solid as a wrench. As solid as an Australian wrench. Enables a legitimately powerful and alternative way to play. Specifically made to counter spies. Suboptimal otherwise. Sacrifices reliability for minuscule construction gains. Fun at least. Provides increased mobility and utility. Amazing in certain situations. Simple clean interface. Big red buttons are compelling to click. A strong defense oriented weapon, outclassed by other choices. Difficult to use optimally. Downside often results in afterburn death. Widely regarded as the best option. Trades defense for utility. Faster movement speed is always powerful. Helpful when retreating. Often the best choice. Invulnerability counters critical hits and sentries. Good for the blue, defending side of asymmetrical game modes. Counter standard invulnerability uber with a faster charging uber. Strong but requires micromanaging alongside regular play. Outclassed by alternatives. Medic's real melee. Fun to use and rewards risky play. Dumb in its current incarnation. Perplexing and bad design. Area of effect healing is handy surprisingly often. Aesthetics. Useful to inform your team of enemy health. The bullets come out of the slim end. Louder, but cooler looking, so it's better than stock. Suboptimal versus rifles, but that's the price you pay for fun. Visually appealing reskin. A more team-oriented rifle. Use wisely. Adds a fun minigame to sniping, 
rewards consistent players. Ideal when remaining hidden is unnecessary. Has less versatility. A retro sci-fi reskin. Unreliable. Payoff not worth it. Rev up and jump around corners like a heavy. Glorious. Outstanding at finishing off wounded enemies. Inferior to stock. The weapon trades damage for burst damage. Very powerful, especially in teamfights. Adds chomping bread monster as visual effect to enemies hit. Useful for new sniper players having trouble with new spies. The fourth best sniper secondary versus pyros. Not flinching is life saving. Health sustain is a bonus. Completely usable. Works well with no outstanding downsides. Specifically made to deal with spies. It works well enough. Remarkable if used intelligently with Jurati. Why do you exist? Theoretically it could be advantageous. The power of a shotgun in a single bullet. Purple long dong gun. Fear. The ambassador spy with impeccable aim. Best used with the dead ringer. A devastating combination. Situational and underpowered. Rewards doing what the spy does anyways. Boring, but usable. Gets the job done efficiently. Ultra cool looking, but lacks the taunt kill. Aesthetically pleasing. Wrecks new players. Can be used to chain backstabs well. It's painful looking. A well-themed reskin. Being fragile is awful. Excels at chain stabs. Unsuccessfully trades survivability for survivability. Exceeds at chain stabs. The best choice versus pyros. For revolver focused play. No one suspects stationary snipers. Knowledge of ammo pack locations is indispensable. Just a reskin. A direct upgrade weapon, if you enjoy ducks. A tool for new players to practice. And a trap. No longer fools players. It's still quite good. Works on robots too. Oddly. Probably the best reskin in the entire game. Absolute perfection. Weaponized bread. Very good at countering mini sentries. A status symbol. A trophy, in the literal sense. The best reskin for its sound. Allows the creative to show their creativity. Goes well with certain cosmetics. Spooky. Great for Halloween. Only records in standard definition. Humorous and tasty. The holy grail of melee weapons. Good for Halloween. Too physically big. Weapon has disproportionately short range. Ugly and doesn't fit the game's art style well. And that was the video. Remember, these reviews are based on opinion, so don't get offended if a weapon you like was not reviewed favorably. This was a really fun exercise in being super straightforward and to the point. I really enjoyed coming up with these 10 word or less reviews. I hope you enjoyed too. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.